Chemical Reactions Part 2, Types of Reactions. There's several ways to classify chemical reactions. And I'm going to use this method here. It's, a, it's presented in your book. Your book presents a couple of different ways. Um, but I like this classification, and it's the one the lab manual uses. So let's work with this. So the first type is combination or synthesis. And that's when two small compounds or two elements combine to form one. You recognize it because there's only one product. And decomposition is the reverse of that. You start with one reactant, and it breaks down into two or more simpler molecules, or it could be elements. So synthesis, you, you're, you have one product. Decomposition, you have one reactant. We've got single replacement, where you have a compound and an element, and you've got a partner switch, and you end up with a different compound and element. Double displacement. You have two compounds, and they switch partners. You end up with two compounds. And combustion, you react with oxygen. Um, there's another type, oxidation, which it, actually several of these fit into the oxidation category. So they're often called um, redox reaction, oxidation reduction. And it's where elements change their charge. And so at the end, we'll talk about which one of these categories. There's actually um, three of these categories, four, that fit into that category. Let's look at combination or synthesis. So that's when two or more reactants combine to form one product. So you can see that in A plus B makes AB. So you end up with one product. And you can see the little cartoon how the two people got together. Um, an example of that is to make water out of hydrogen and oxygen. So, and that's an example of a nonmetal reacting with oxygen. Oxygen reacts with both metals and nonmetals. The next example is a metal reacting with oxygen. So you can see magnesium will react with oxygen to make magnesium oxide. And again, you can see combination. Two things come together to form one. And it's interesting that both these reactions can also be considered combustion and redox. So the classification, sometimes it'll fit in more than one category. Decomposition is the reverse. So one compound breaks down into two elements. So now you see you have AB, and it breaks down to A plus B. So it's the reverse, and you can see your couple breaking up. Um, some examples, HGO breaks down to HG and O. So you've got um, a compound breaking into its elements. So that can happen. You, metal hydrogen carbonates and metal carbonates can break down, so you have Sodium hydrogen carbonate breaks down to sodium carbonate and water and carbon dioxide. And you, carbonates can also break down. You've got calcium carbonate can break into, I'm sorry, copper carbonate breaks into copper and carbon dioxide. This one is pretty interesting because this is the reaction of baking soda. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is baking soda. And when you heat baking soda, it decomposes. And one of the products is carbon dioxide gas. And so that's how it works in baking. The carbon dioxide puts um, little gas bubbles in whatever you're making and makes them more fluffy. Uh, often decomposition reactions require heat. And that's what this arrow with the triangle over it, it means with heat. So that's how decomposition often occurs.